Trivial sequences and long-term steady state. Trivial sequences have all terms the same. So for example, 8, 8, 8 is a trivial sequence. Now that looks really dumb. It's actually not useless. Um, really quickly, an arithmetic sequence will be trivial if the common difference is 0. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. A geometric sequence, the common ratio, oh, I can better write it, common, will be 1, because 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 1 is 8. So if you have either of these on their own, you'll get a trivial sequence. Now technically, you can call any trivial sequence both geometric and arithmetic, because you think of it, I've got T1 is 8, Tn plus 1 is 1 times Tn plus 0. Common ratio of 1, common difference of 0. So technically they're both arithmetic and geometric. They don't have growth or decay, they have constant values. And when I do an example, you'll see why it can be actually kind of useful. For combined arithmetic and geometric trivial sequences, the increase is exactly equal to the decrease. So you can have combined ones without it having to be exactly common difference of zero and common ratio of one if the increase equals the decrease. So this one here for an example, starting term of a thousand we have geometric growth, arithmetic decay. Now 1.1 as a common ratio is a 10% increase. And so if I find 10% of my starting term, 10% of 1,000 is 100, that's a 100 increase. D is minus 100. So that's a hundred decrease. So when the increase is equal to the decrease from that first term, find your percentage increase and amount decrease, then that won't go anywhere. That will keep being a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. So if the increase and decrease are the same, we've got a trivial sequence. An example of where it might actually be useful is when you want to keep a population stable. So my population is increasing by 12% each month. And I really forgot to say one important thing, which is that because all terms are equal, that means V0 is the same as any other term, which is the same as the next term on. This will be useful later. Sorry, I didn't say it before. So 8,000 trout in a pond, the population increases by 12% per month, work out how many we can catch each month for the population to stay stable. So you can do a couple of things. You could just find 12% of 8,000, 12 over 100 times 8,000, because you can take that many out each month because that many is going in each month. So really, that's the easiest way to do it. I can take out 960 trout each month. If you wanted to do this with the recurrence relationship, turn to my notes, V0 is 8,000, R, our common ratio, 1 plus 12 on 100, 1.12. The difference is what we want to find out. So V0 is 8,000, Vn plus 1 is 1.12 times Vn minus D. 
here is our recurrence relationship. Because all terms are equal, Vn plus 1 must be the same as Vn. Sorry, I should have left more space here. And it must be the same as V0, so it's 8,000. This is 8,000. 8,000 equals 1.12 times 8,000 minus D. And we can just solve that equation, but really all we're doing is finding 12% of 8,000. But we'll solve the equation. We will subtract um, this from 8,000. equals negative d so minus 960 equals negative d so d equals 960 it was a word question we'd say therefore can catch 960 trout per month so all we really did was do something quite basic and then changed it to recurrence relationships. We now have to look at long-term steady state, which is kind of similar to trivial sequences. Consider this recurrence relationship, geometric and arithmetic, geometric decay because that's between 0 and 1, arithmetic growth. And let's just have a look. We start with 10. And it's half of the previous term plus 2. So 10 divided by 2 plus 2, 7. Now, that was, you know, half of 10 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Half of 7 is 3.5, plus 2, I'll get 5.5. 5. Half of 5.5 5 is 2.75, plus 2, I'll get 4.75. Notice that as I keep doing this, it's getting closer and closer to 2, to, to 4. Because we're getting closer and closer to dividing something by 2, adding 2, as this gets closer to 4, dividing by 2, it's pretty much we're just doing 2 plus 2 by now. The further we go, we might as well just be typing in 2 plus 2. It's so close to 2 when we do 4 divided by 2. So this is called convergence. It doesn't ever actually come out to trivial. It's still got a tiny little bit happening here, but it gets so much so close to being trivial that it might as well be. And it can converge from the top or from the bottom. So this comes from above. And so, We say it converges to almost equal terms. And it, it's, it's sort of trivial. To converge means to, to get closer and closer to something. The conditions to get a long-term steady state, V0 is, of course, our starting value. And we get long-term steady state when I've got geometric decay and arithmetic growth. R is between 0 and 1, so I've got geometric decay. If you've got geometric decay and arithmetic growth, it will converge. The limit is the equation to find out what it will converge to limit the number it converges to and that is D over 1 minus R capital R being our common ratio so if we did the limit with this one very quickly because I'm short of time so remember get a different colored pen. This is capital R, this is D. So the limit here is 2 over 1 minus 0 0.5 
2 divided by 0 0.5 is 4. Grab your calculator if you don't trust me. So it's, that came out to getting closer and closer and closer to 4. Where we use this sort of question is here. A gardener notices that 4% of her plants are eaten by rabbits each week. Now, she plants 200 plants to start with and 6 new plants each week. Write a recurrence relation. V0, 200. Vn plus 1. We need R of 4%, so that's 1 plus minus, because it's eaten, they're going away, 1 minus R on 100. 4 divided by 100, 0 0.04, so I've got 1 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.96. Vn plus 1 is 0 0.96 times Vn, and our difference is adding 6 new plants each week. Uh, so, how many plants can she expect to have in her garden in the long run? When you ask how many we expect in the long run, we're asking what does this converge to? We want the limit. Turn to my page of notes again. So we get the formula for the limit. D over 1 minus R. Common difference was 6. 1 minus 0 0.96. You'll notice it works out to just little r on 100. 0 0.04. And 6 divided by... Six divided by 0 0.04 is 150. She can expect 150 plants in the long run. I'm not going to write that because I'm running out of time. Word answer. How many new plants should she put in each week to maintain 100 plants in the garden? So she wants it to converge at 100 plants. That's the limit. How many new plants should she put in? That's the common difference. So we use the limit formula we substitute in what we want for our limit we're going to solve for D I've got 1 minus 0 0.96 so that will be the common difference we'll do an extra line of working 1 minus 0 0.96 would be 0 0.04. Difference will be 100 times 0 0.04, because I'm solving for D. And 4. She should put 4 new plants in each week to keep 100 plants in the garden.